Line up for the tree line shackle, which I think that's exactly what he's doing. And they're just gonna let go up. Oh, there's your dive, Everybody and there's your pick. That's that Teleki's encounter I was talking about. He's such a great hero against him. First blood. And the Phoenix the didn't even Ranger get the bounty ring, it went to the SF as well as to the Wind Ranger. Miracle forced the TP rotation off top. And Slada can get more levels, but it also means that uh, those start get a little bit more over aggressive. Oh, it's not over aggressive if you get the kill. Walk just far enough to get himself out of range of the, of the 40 CS. They throw down one sentry ward, feeling that something is awry. And the SF, like, he can't stack at the moment. Looks like top lane, no fear. Oh, he's gonna burn out. Like, all they're gonna do is throw another sprite, like, sprite on him, and he should tick out inside the base, which is exactly what happens. Flow moves himself forward. They've already committed Icarus Dive, the healing ward. Gonna get the extra life here, the Phoenix, but then the shackle and focus fire from resolution. Good rotation up. Ends up being a one-for-one -one trade off then. But you drag two cores up to the top lane. And then instantly the movement. He does he can't reach him. Ten life for the father, able to sprint himself away just out of range of the juggernaut. That was a take that as a, as a maybe. <laughs> Crit. No telekinesis like crab, resolution. He's actually gonna steal the regeneration rune. Crit. Um, that nightmare to play around with as the pickup is gonna throw him back into so, the barrage. So the game is totally it. fine now, but I can't hear you properly on Sky. Can you try calling me back? Yeah, I could do that. Now only 200 and a bit gold away from having all the mech done. It's like Chris gonna get himself in a little bit of trouble. Almost able to get the kill on a low hard dance. Miracle was coming to try and zone out Moon. Uh, so that was kind of what it was. Juggernaut got a solo kill on the Slaughter very early on with an Omni Slash pickup. Speaking of that now, well, how's he gonna live through this one? Not at all. Dive instantly. They have to go into the Nova in combination with a Curse Start, the Splinter Blast. The stun should be able to kick that range. No, he's just far enough out. And with the Shadow Wave kicking in, no fear that we give the life back again. But Resolution controlled, the Inscript stolen, the Rubik dies almost instantly after us a miracle. Let's rip on the Requiem of Souls. Resolution gonna get raised down, and they got the Nightmare on the Slaughter. The two quick race take away almost all of its life. One more attack will do the work, and they just need to see him in the tree line. Miracle's moving down, they can try to attack move there for a moment, almost attack into the tower. And now a double crush, it's going to still be actually the creep that gets the kill there. There's four heroes lost for Team Empire in the bottom lane. Radiance the rest are because you still have to rely on Aloha Dance to get the grip. Without that, there's, there's kind of nothing against him. And now, well, Moon, he's found a new target. It's going to be the Dazzle. Did this once before. Nice shackle over on Fly. The Nightmare actually going to cancel a large portion of the damage until, yeah, they take it off him. The Shadow Wave damage and the power shot from Resolution able to Radiance reach the retreating support. That's for the so, dropping. I think OG had... Now I go. Yeah, and I, I talked last game about how there's there's so many different ways to build your SF at the moment, but Miracle is going for pretty much the exact same. Here they the, come, the, the call down, the shackle doesn't latch! How's it not latch? It's wind range, she's broken! Now they jump forward, Phoenix potentially could go into Nova, but they're all a little bit too far away, so it keeps going down for these spirits. The Fable damage actually doing some decent work when you combine it up with a power shot. The Slaughter still ended up ticking out. That's those sprites going to work, crit being picked up and thrown back. It was the Observe Ward in the hillside for OG. To let them know what they can get away with. They've so, got Weave as well as Amplification on them. The Weave's about to wear off when they start for Roshan while the Slaughter is down. Well, Morbid Mask, whatever they call it these days, but... Helm of Dom does give you that extra value. It does make you tanky, it does give you damage. It can dominate creeps, and he's actually, speaking of this Juggernaut, he's in big trouble. Whoa! Oh. Oh, that might get him out this one. Rubik is so low with the Shackle from Resolution this time it will latch. And that saved the life there of the Rubik. Uh... Vampire can deal with and just bring the trap. Uh, the smoke's gonna break, so they've got to know the resolution. Yeah, with that power shot, the line has been drawn directly to him. They curse him up, and this is very reminiscent of what happened to him when he was Lena in the last game. It's just easy control. And then Empire, they just can't defend that during the fights. He's certainly got no lack of experience on Gyrocopter oh, as they, they fly. No curse available, they're waiting for this one. The blink crush, they missed the timing. 
Juggernaut, he's hiding in the tree line. They're farming up the Angels. The Weave is going to give him a little bit of defensive danger here. But Miracle, moving himself forward. He wants to go for the Requiem Assault, but they've already lost the, the Juggernaut. So Miracle has to let that ulti rip. They're going to bring down the Supernova if they're not careful. In fact, he just focuses over on the Rubik. The Nova doesn't get off in time. The Dara coming with his BKB. Goes to work. Flying and checking him brought down. And that is a fight which OG was probably never going to win. And it ends up being a 4 for 1 trade off. DSF being the only one to find that Blade Fury stolen by Rubik. And he's got his own Blink Tiger. Yeah, th this is this is almost a nightmare now for the Phoenix. Because Rubik can sit out of range of the Nova and just grab the ulti. Or when Flying goes for that initial curse, that has to be a follow up. And speaking of that miracle, that Shackle's gonna kick forward into the Nova. The only side as well. Where's the damage? Crit, keeping the Fiend's grip up. Silent can't do any damage here. This is gonna be a final for a Phoenix Trap. Miracle has to back out of here. The Shackle will not be able to latch onto anything. The Juggernaut will give a healing war, but it's He's still in the Fiend's grip. Trade off. That weave was almost a maximum the entire time, so there was no physical damage that could come out from OG that would do any level of damage, that even with the Fiend Grip and with the Blink top. Forward, they catch out the Juggernaut. Just go to town right now. They can Cold Embrace him up, but what is Ruby going to go into? Like, he can just start Blade Fury as well and staying on the front lines. The Rocket Barrage and Black Cannon and Silent doing the work. Miracle getting body blocked up high. Aloha Dance, the Blink Forward Blade Fury. You can do nothing about it. No G, they're losing heroes left, right, and center. And that's now two team fights in a row that they've lost with towers to boot. It's not. It's not. It's not why did he want to buy it. It's why, why was this? We, let's figure out why Mantis Star is the best item here. Um, first thing would be you can soak the up the Omni Slashes with it. Beyond that, not really many other advantages out there. Crit. Boom. Oh. He, uh, he, yeah. Yeah. He was. He's dead. Yeah, soaking up Omni Slash or extra targets. I, I guess those are the kinds of things we'd look towards, and Slaughter is sprinting into enemy ground, and they see fly. Yeah, they actually get the crush at him while he's up the hill, keeping the bashes going. The Weave is also going to start to arrive, so there's no way OG weren't going to turn around on this one anyway. They don't have their Bang, they don't have their Wyvern, and this game is so different to game 1 because the Link's doing their work. So the Silent instantly tries to capitalize on the situation, pushes him that tier 3 tower, they get the pick up on crit, man, give this guy a medal. Aloha has just been so amazing this game, so amazing is this Rubik. Yeah, this is uh... Oh, I don't... Following the script of where OG loses, by the way, where they win game 1, lose game 2, and suddenly they're in trouble. I did say the, the last team to defeat them was Empire in, the, in that style. I'll see if they can do it. Right now the Sunray burning forward, they have to go into the Nova, Silence on the front line, where's your damage? The call is good, but the ulti, the Nova, it doesn't finish! It can't connect, the rage of damage is not going to be enough, not while the call down's down, and Silence going to town, I think OG might have just lost this game, with a double crush from Paul, yep. back they call him, it's GG, there's too many fights in a row being lost, and there's just nothing that OG has to repel the Empire. Team Empire! Yeah, it's, it's going to be interesting to see uh, what OG do after winning game 1 and losing game 2 because the last time that happened to them was against Empire on the 22nd of October and that's the last time they actually lost the series. Oh.